What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So if you guys saw in the previous video, we got the office framed out here. We got most of our electrical stuff ran so it's ready to go. We do still have to do a couple more things for the exterior lean-to lights and outlets before we can start to button up the steel. But we did put in a door over here. We framed, well, we didn't put the door in yet, but we framed it out for the door to go out to the lean-to, which is about the center of the lean-to. And then what we're gonna do is actually button up this side. We gotta finish framing it out with the horizontal um, framing. And then we gotta do the rest up here. And then I actually framed out a spot here for a six foot by seven foot garage door. Uh, I'm gonna do like a roll up, nothing crazy. And the reason I'm gonna do that is just in case, let's say I've got an ATV or a mower or whatever, and I wanna be able to pull it in to work on it in this lean to over here and then close the door behind it without having to pull it into the shop space. I can do that. It would at least be an option. Now, will it end up opening and closing this door all the time to do that? Probably not, but I'd like to have the option. So I just braced it up and framed it up accordingly, and it's super, super solid. Because we actually tied this into a post on the back side, and we did some two by sixes sitting up on top of two by sixes that are also fastened to post on this side, and braced, and it's very, very solid. And for you know a roll-up garage door that only weighs like 120, 130 pounds, I think it is, it's way, 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 way strong enough. So we're gonna get to finishing framing this up for today, and that way we can get the shelving thrown in here and get to moving this stuff out of our garage, off that trailer, and into here. Because we have not been able to use our garage pretty much since we moved in because it's been full of stuff from moving that's supposed to go in the shop, but I wanna have a space to put it before I just unload it everywhere again like it was when we first moved in. And then I have to like keep doing extra work to work around stuff and move stuff around. So hopefully we can get this closed up today. That's the plan, and then we get shelving in here and empty that garage. here on the lean-to project that we kind of like got some time off so we stopped but we did actually get a winner for this truck he's been called and notified we made the post on Facebook and Instagram as well as our stories and stuff it is Jeremy out of California so this is our first California winner and uh, luckily it's pre-emissions regulated for the state of California. At least that's what I was told. He said, oh no, that truck totally will be fine in California because it's like pre-1998 or 97, whichever one it was. But I was like, okay, cool. Because this thing like shreds tires, blows tons of black smoke and all that good stuff. So luckily, at least hopefully, as long as that's accurate, he should be able to still drive this around over there and be totally cool. He said he's in the part of California where they're like super laid back. He's got like a a nice fourth gen and it's got some magical stuff done under the hood and whatnot. And he said he never gets bothered. So all that to say, thank you so much to everybody who entered to win that truck. And congratulations again, Jeremy, on winning the 95 compound turbo 12 valve plus the five grand in this truck. We're still kind of going back and forth. He had mentioned possibly wanting to drive it back. And I said, I don't know if I'd do that because as mentioned, when I first picked it up, it was built as a drag truck, so it doesn't have AC and stuff. It's just got lots of big turbo going on under the hood. So there's no AC in the truck, and that would be a long drive with no AC, and it would be hot. It was over 100 here the other day, so I wouldn't even want to know what it's going to be out that way. So probably going to get shipped out there because it's most comfortable and most convenient for everybody. But let's go out here and show you guys the lean-to. So here's the lean-to. For now, I just got a trim piece that they actually had laying around here from the previous owners. And I got that wrapped over the top, trimmed up under the roof line over there, keep the water from pouring in there. And then we got all of these steel tacked on, hung on this side. We still got a few more small touches to finish up on this before it's done. But, and then coming back around here, we've got the bed cap that was on Rosine from the moving process. That's taken off from right here, set on some boards. 
some extra boards and steel and stuff that we still have to sort through and use some of it. But if you look in here, this is like every square inch of this is used. And so this is a, our diesel power heater that's gonna get moved into the shop in the winter. All of our fuel cans, rack for our vehicle, barrel full of our just shovels and rakes and pitchforks and all of our stuff, coolers and targets and wheels for my grandpa's truck when we get it back, which by the way, that should be done in just a couple weeks here and then we're going to be slapping some anthems on there anthem i'm so sorry it's been a long time since you guys sent me these i've been trying to wait until i get the truck done because i don't want to like try to show off the wheels when the truck was like rusty i'm trying to get it done when it's like a really good reveal and the truck's like super mint so it, it is it is tight in here like i'm not gonna lie like this is gonna have to get moved but this is a box with two brand new first gen windshields I got like all my oil and some of my shop accessories that I still need to open up and put in the shop once it's all done. A ton of my hunting gear, truck parts and accessories, extra headlights and taillights for second gens, power tools, and like all my stuff. So we've got everything in here and once we get this big old annoying box out of here, it'll be nice and easy to walk in and out of this alleyway. But for the most part, the lean-to is completely used up. But it used up all the space and we got the whole garage emptied so now we have a big oversized hook car garage that's empty and we can actually use it and we don't have to have most of the stuff in the shop although some of my power tools and stuff i'm actually going to hang on the walls in here because i'm going to use them in here but for now that's what it looks like in here okay guys and one more thing i asked you guys in the previous video to let me know down in the comment section below what do you guys want to see us work on here next i've been kind of trying to like push off another project because I'm trying to get the shop done because like right now we're running extension cords from the house it's a real pain in the butt, so I've been trying to work like crazy to try to get this all buttoned up so we can get power out here and get this all done so we can actually use it. But I took a bunch of votes on Instagram and it was between an OBS 7.3 and a newer 6.7 like my dad's King Ranch. And between those two, you guys voted 7.3 by like hundreds more than a newer 6.7 King Ranch. And then I took a vote between an LLY Duramax and an LMM Duramax and you guys drastically overvoted towards an LLY over an LMM. So my next question, if you had to choose between an LLY Duramax and an OBS 7.3 Ford, assuming I can find a really clean one, it's not such a pain, we'll figure that out. Out, but we'll figure it out if that's what you guys want. Which one would you pick? LLY or an OBS 7.3? Let me know down in the comment section below, guys. Thanks so much for all the love and all the support, and we'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.